Good day, I'm Alexis with the multi hull company. Today we are doing a walkthrough of the Orana 44 Isola. Isola is a 2010 Orana owner version. She's lying in Fort Lauderdale right now. This is a two-owner boat. Current owners bought her uh, five years ago. She was previously previously owned. Excuse me by a uh, German fellow. They picked up this boat in the Caribbean, sailed it in the Caribbean a few years, <clears throat> and then brought it to um, the Bahamas. It was for a number of years. And then uh, here to Florida for, for sale. This, boat's, this boat has been imported, US duty paid. This boat has actually a, um, that's its second anchor. It has a Rockna primary anchor. We're just replacing uh, some equipment here. This is the uh, nice raised helm as they call them here at uh, Fountain Pajot. Full batten mainsail and a Genoa. There is a um, 12 foot dinghy, rib dinghy with a Nissan 30 horse engine on the back. Nice big cockpit. What's impressive on this model is the enormous uh, hardtop bimini that actually curves down on the port side there to give you great uh, sun protection and water protection. The boat's equipped with a couple of Volvo D40s. Engine hours are... Actually, check the spec for the engine hours because I don't recall them exactly. Furuno Instruments. A nice Furuno radar. Now I'm going to show you a very nice feature on this boat. Brand new generator that's fitted right here, so it's very accessible. Okay, this is the generator installed in March 2020, so brand new. Uh, this runs, of course, the battery charger. It runs um, the air conditioning on this boat. Water maker. The water maker is new as well. It is uh, March 2020. So those two items were installed just recently. Here's this beautiful salon here. Chart table, forward facing to starboard. Again, Furuno instruments here, an autopilot repeater and a GPS. Nice little feature here, there's a fridge, top loading. And then we got a galley here across the back. There's an additional um, 12 volt DC freezer here. It can work both as a freezer and a fridge. That's the Phaser Marine Generator Remote Control. 
Let's go down to the owner side on starboard. Look at that. Great space. And this queen bed is walk around on both sides. Athwart ships, as they, as they say in our lingo, there is a nice hatch here overhead for ventilation. There's a porthole in the back. A couple of reading lights overhead. Some fans as well, two fans there. Great vanity or uh, office as you want to use it here. Lots of storage, lots of storage, of course, in an owner version. Hanging lockers here and here. Excuse me. Boat comes fully equipped, of course. It's got all of its uh, all the spares, all the tools, life jackets, security equipment. All of that stays on board. And then here we're walking up to the master bathroom. Electric head there. And let me just open the uh, walk-in separate stall shower. Very comfy this. This is really a great long-term, long-distance boat for voyaging. Um, of course, it's equipped with um, holding tanks, all of that. There's a privacy door right here. And uh, heading back up, let's go see the other side. This is a very clean boat. Well maintained. It has no hurricane damage history. It missed all the major hurricanes in these parts. Or it was uh, put away carefully, so it did. This is the um, starboard aft guest cabin. Again, you got a porthole here right over the bunk for ventilation. And then, excuse me, that's a hatch. That's the porthole. And then you've got a, a skylight there. There's a bathroom right here. Its own bathroom, of course, with a shower that's separate here. Going forward to the port guest forward, and here you got a nice uh, partial walk around feature. Again, hatch overhead. These boats are really well ventilated. Look at that porthole over there. At anchor, that can be opened and you get uh, a nice breeze through here. Escape hatch on the inboard side, and then you got another head over here with a shower, a separate shower and a head. Now, this boat, as I mentioned earlier, has a brand new water maker as well. Check the spec for the exact um, uh, specs on the, on the water maker. I don't have them here from memory. But again, that's a brand new piece of equipment, so really nice. Okay, walking back up the companionway. As I said, this boat is uh, lying in Fort Lauderdale. It's imported and it's really ready to go. Absolutely ready to go. There's your uh, ladder if you ever go to the Mediterranean. This boat did start its voyages in, in um, well, in Western France in La Rochelle and then made its way through the Med, Caribbean. And that's where it was purchased by the current owners. 
thanks a lot for the visit. Uh, give me a call if you need more information about this boat.